Hi. Uh, wait, let me make the music a bit softer. Hi again. You might be wondering, Hey Sue, didn't you just stream? Shouldn't you go to bed earlier? And I was like, yes, you, you are correct. But, um, the thing is, <laughs> I got distracted. And I was like, you know what? It would be great. It would be great if I had all the BL that I've read in the list. One comprehensive list that I can then share around or access or whatever, whenever I need it. Right? And I was like, wow, that's a great idea, but oh my god, moving 169 titles into a list, or well, probably less than 169, <laughs> but like, 169 titles, um, minus a couple, which isn't a lot, but like, that's gonna be a lot of work. And the way Manga Dex has it, right, it's, um, oh, Mario Paradox, it's kind of a pain to create a list and add manga, because they're doing it like, like, bit by bit. Like, you have to do it one at a time, you know what I mean? Which is reasonably not so great. So, I thought, well, okay, if this is going to take a really long time, I might as well stream it and talk about BL while I'm doing it to help encourage me to, to do this. <laughs> and originally I wanted to talk to my friends about this, but, but they're all dead, so... <laughs> so instead, um, I'm just gonna stream it. Uh... So, first of all, just a little content warning. BL is BL, okay? So, if you, if you don't like this subject, please go away. <laughs> No, that's that's bad. That's a bad way to don't say go away. Please just like you know like in those old old fan fiction days you can synchronize to what you read. See, I don't have what I I don't have it on updated on my anime list. I don't have it updated on my anime list, so so I would have to go and update my anime list first. <laughs> Which is not going to work out. Let me just type Mal. Is it saved here? Oh no, I don't remember what it is. Oh no. Oh, never mind. We're all good. I only have 23 on here. Yeah, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Which means that I'm stuck doing it on that. Because I want to put it all in a list, you know? Instead of, um, instead of just looking through my completed, because sometimes it's not, it not BO. And also because, um, my friend sometimes asks for Rex. And I don't want to, like, you know, I was like, oh, I'll just give you the entire list and you can just look through it, like that sort of thing, right? But I can't share around, you can share lists, right? But you can't share around, um, your follows, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what these are. <laughs> the. Okay. So if I just add some- eh? Create list. Okay, and then I add, right? Create list. Yeah, I can share this. Right. Hmm. Right, but my profile won't let you see follows, though. It only lets you see lists. It doesn't 
Like, it doesn't show the follows you have. At least I don't think so. It would also be good to just have all the BL in like one separate list. So I like being organized. That's a fucking lie. <laughs> Shit, see, now that I'm here, I'm like kind of regretting this decision. Because I'm like, do I really want to talk about BL for like an hour? Okay, you know what? It's fine. Hi, I'm burying my heart and soul to the world. <laughs> My friend was like, yeah, your manga dex follows can can tell a lot about a person. I'm like, oh, is that so? What if it's like 99% BL? What does that say? I can see that. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not gonna add the Haikyuu DJs, but... Okay, so like, every Haikyuu DJ by um, this person named uh, Bu Buban Hatten. I don't know. But all of their... Haikyuu doujins are really good. They're really good. They're really good. My friend was like, what, why do you have like Haikyuu doujins in your follows, right? It's like, Man, look, it's it's something I want to keep around. It's like really well done. And then they have um, they have one original story, I think. Unless they made it up. No, this is just more Haikyuu doujins. They have one original story, right? Which is... I mean, like, it's also good. It's not amazing, right? But it's like, it's like, you know, if you want BL, it's good BL. <laughs> um, so for me, my taste, like, it usually is on, uh, I, okay. I prefer Shonen Eye over, uh, over anything else, <laughs> right? So the stories that I like happen to just be, um, extremely, like, for lack of a better word, cliche, <laughs> because, um, because it's just, it's just good, you know? Like, it's- it's a cliche, but it's like, ah oh, man, I love this- I love it when this happens. <laughs> exactly. How many Hatsukois are there? It's probably a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like- it's like shoujo, yeah. Shoujo, though, I haven't- See, I haven't read enough shoujo, but the one I did read, which is, um, the one- what was it? It's like, the pla- plaque? The Black Prince and the Wolf Girl, or however it was. And, like, sleep has a bit. I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> the one shoujo that I did read is, um, hold on. Black Prince Wolf Girl. This one. Yes. Yeah. I remember reading this in high s no middle school. <laughs> and like dude, when I was reading it, I was like, wow, this guy is a dick. This guy sucks so much. <laughs> like right? And what? Oh my god. Thank you for the gift sub! <laughs> you really- <laughs> Thank you. Though, like, hmm. This is kind of an embarrassing situation to gift sub at. <laughs> Most social MCs are- Yeah, right? 
I think it's, um, I don't know. I feel like it's changed, but I don't know if it has, but a lot of older shoujo, like, um, it used to be a huge thing that girls would like bad boys, right? And it would be like, like an action, like, he would be like, oh, you know, he's a dick, but like, you know, there are like key moments where he's super nice to you and like, oh my god, he's so cool, but then he also has a soft side, wow, he's so amazing! <laughs> Right? Yeah. <laughs> Gap Moe? I yeah, it is kind of Gap Moe. I I would I'm um, hmm. Yeah, it's kind of the description. Gap Moe it's basically See, I don't know if I have it completely correct. My friend might be like, Oh yeah, that's not what it is, you're explaining it entirely wrong. But from my understanding, it's basically... Um, yeah, like having a softer side that it's kind of unexpected, you know? Like, wow, they're usually super um, cold or cool, but then, you know, they get really flustered or something like that. I'm pretty sure that's Gap Moe. I might be wrong. Yeah. Right? I don't know. Like, I'm sure it gets better. I probably didn't read enough, you know, for him to, like, completely turn around. Like, because it was still in the early stages where he was kind of just an asshole all around. There was like one particular scene where I thought he was going to be nicer, but then he wasn't, and I was like, wow, screw this, and I dropped it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and there's a live action. There's an anime, there's an anime too, right? Yeah. Like, it's, it's pretty popular. I would say, yeah. Wild. That's why I stick to BO. <laughs> yeah, there's like... There's also dicks in BO. Well, yeah, there's dicks in BO, but like, I meant, you know, like, personality-wise. Personality and actual. <laughs> oh, thank you for pasting the definition. Character does something completely contradictory. Yeah. Usually it seems as com See, I saw um, Tema describe it as like, Gatmoe is usually when the contradiction is charming or likable, right? There are also times where there's a gap where it's like, not really that they're charming or likable. Like, for example, if you have like a kind of fluffy dog type of guy, right? And then you're like, wow, you know, this person's so nice. You know, then and, and then they like some kind of switch flips, and they're actually uh, like kind of rude or like kind of scary or I don't know. <laughs> this is a lot of ticks in the <laughs> Yeah, that's why you think before you speak, man. <laughs> There's also well. Oh, hmm. See, my plan was just to go over all the BL I have in my follows and be like, wow, this one's so good. Wow, this one sucks. But the thing is, I don't remember half of these. <laughs> you know, you can't remember everything in your brain, so... Yeah, I mean, that's fair. <laughs> I, I would be more surprised if you were. So... <laughs> What was this one? I don't remember. Kiroboshi dial. Yoru to asu. Whoa, wait, that one's super dark. Are you sure? <laughs> you are you sure? Yoru to asu. I don't know if I have it on here. Or am I not thinking of the right one? Oh, I'm totally I'm thinking of the other one. Never mind. Don't mind me. <laughs> 
I was thinking of something else. It. Hold on. Yuri on Ice is barely VO. They never make it like. Like, they never say they're actually in a relationship, so I wouldn't count it as VO. It's like. It's. It's just like. Teasing. <laughs> Wait, no! It is the one that I'm thinking of. Froxen. Yoru to Asa no to no Uta. It's not a manga dex, because that one's really dark! <laughs> I'm surprised you know that one. Oh gosh. <clears throat> Yeah, it was dark. Uh, I don't remember this at all. What? Maybe I should make another list called like Bo. I remember, <laughs> and then the other list is Bo. I forgot. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, like, it's it's good, it's dark, but it's like, you know, it's like the engaging. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I know a lot of people aren't comfortable with Harda's stories, so I won't go into too much detail about it, but... If you're into like, wow, this is messed up. I want to keep reading. Like if you if you have that mentality, <laughs> you'll probably like any story written by Harda. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh wait, is this a knock knock joke? Who's there? BL. I feel like. Yeah, there's like a lot of topics that they delve into that are just, you know, way more. <laughs> it's like stuff you usually can't air on television. Cute girls do X thing cutely fun. Yeah, wait, um, what's this thing? I think my my friend recommended me this story, but I haven't read it, which is like a hundred girlfriends. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Cute girls doing cute things, stupidly, like Kaon. <laughs> I went to K I went into Kaon with a shonen mindset. And I was like, "Whoa, why aren't they like actually practicing?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh wait, this is a different genre." See, okay, so there, there's ones I don't remember, but this one I think I remember. Same difference. Oh, <laughs> this is like, um, just reading this description, you're like, ah, <laughs> I see. The manga is about music? Oh, K-On, right. <laughs> it's always tea time, tea and- it's always snack time. What was- See, I don't remember this now. I feel like I do, but I think I'm mix mixing it up with a different one. No, I am. Because the other one got an anime. This one, I don't remember. Okay, can't go in the pile. 
This one I remember. Ushiro no Saki no Katoku. This one. Oh shoot. I can't remember if I like really liked it or thought it was really average, but I think it was like. Oh yeah, this. It like, it wasn't. Again, it was like very, you know, cliche. Like a good cliche, but still cliche. <laughs> This this one? Uh Ushiro no Sekino. Oh yeah, usually BL is about five chapters. That's like pretty standard. Or sometimes there'll be like two chapters and then they'll have like three stories in one book. Debut content. Oh, it's their debut comic. Didn't they write another one I also- Oh, it's this one! Oh my god. Dude. Sato. This guy. This one. Oh my- wait, hold on. This, it's, um... Do I not have this set up? To... Oh, probably because I'm in incognito. This one. So, this is how he looks initially, right? He's like a little, like he's like a little chubby dumpling, <laughs> and then, and then he does. He has like a weight loss situation, and then he looks like this. And I was like, I was like, okay, you know. I mean, they had to do it, but. <laughs> Soft boy, it's soft boy, like protect. Yeah, kind of. Hard boy, like hard boy, is um kind of a dick for like the couple, like the first couple chapters. He's like, well, hmm. yeah, he is kind of a dick. Yeah, <laughs> but it's funny, like how you know, because he obviously he has he does change. Right, and it's funny to see him kind of soften. <laughs> okay, I think I also added the other one. Okay, cool. Do I have that in my... F wait. Uh, wait, no, I don't. Wait. Did I add this one? I did. This, 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 this. Okay, so, um, if there's a genre that I always like, it's always the the dog boy, and then, like, a, either, like, a quiet, shy boy, or, like, um, softer boy, or, like, a gremlin. <laughs> Well, now you know. Now you can create all your all your BO lists to give to people to recommend. Or not recommend, but keep track is what I'm doing. Uh... Yeah. Dude, I'm... It's bad, but I'm, like, really a sucker for pining stories. If there's pining, I'm I'm always for it. Like hard one-sided pining. In AO3 tags that would be um uh unrequited love that's actually requited. <laughs> oh man. Oh you use oh my anime list, okay. See, I don't, I don't really like my anime lists, um, the like the format of their website. So I remember this, this one where, cause the the concept is really funny. Basically, um, this like 
the big the big guy right leaves a notebook in the shop where the blonde guy works um and then the blonde guy like he picks up the notebook and he's like oh i'm gonna return it to him um wait what was it he replies with he replies to a comment written down in beautiful characters right and then he like assumes that it's a girl But of course, it's a guy. <laughs> Wait, there's like a one. There's like a one funny screenshot from the. Wait, no, was it this one? That is a... no. I don't... I'm thinking of a different screenshot. But yeah, this one's funny. Gone are the days where I seek out hard angst and darker subjects and um all that no if it's like oh my god they're roommates and they share a bed and they have a funny meet cute i'm like sign me up i'm all for it i will eat it all <laughs> he thinks he's a girl because his handwriting was like super um his handwriting was like really pretty <laughs> Okay, Gaku and Babysitters is not BL, but it is extremely good. <laughs> Gaku and it, and it also has an anime. But, god, it's so- oh, whoa, there's so much updated! What? I did not <laughs> keep up. But yeah, like, it's- it's really good. It's very- it's like, it, oh, there's no shoujo tag. But I think it's published in like a shoujo publisher. <laughs> but <sighs> it's so good. This one? Oh, okay. So yeah, they do kill off his parents in like the first chapter. <laughs> which is which is arguably like a little bit heavy, right? But like um they like they kind of take they care they take care of him well, and it's like um if you know if you've ever like been with kids <laughs> or like babysitted kids or like um, took care of kids in any way if you have like a younger sibling you know like God I don't know how the author does it but they write like. Man, if this... <laughs> like, there's such children! You're like, yes, children do act like that. It's super annoying, but they do. <laughs> and it kind of has... Um... This is true, the main character is voiced by Suzu. Or not Suzu, he's voiced by... Oh shoot, I forgot his name. No, how do I get- wait, hold on. Oh, Nishiyama Kotoro. <laughs> yeah, like, um, the one of the, I guess, story topics that I really like, they always touch on, is how basically, like, because they're kids, you, you kind of let a lot of mistakes go, you know, like, because they don't really know how you know, how you're supposed to behave, right? So they do a lot of stupid stuff and can end up, you know, really hurting your feelings. But sometimes, because be, but because they're kids, sometimes you just have to like suck it up. <laughs> it's like yeah, teach them that it's wrong, but you can't really get angry at them, you know, for too long. Yeah, and it's like man, man. <laughs> yeah. Other Haikyuu DJ. This one made me cry so many times. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ogre to Tanaka. I don't remember this one. I don't remember this one, but Ogre to Tanaka has some good stories. Escape. Okay. Escape Journey 
is good in like the latter half, but the very beginning is like, what the hell is happening? I'm so concerned about everything, you know? Obviously with the tags, you can tell. <laughs> uh... yeah. But they're also the author for... Eh? Where is it? It's not here. Oh, well, I don't know why it's not there, but they write Yorichin Bitch Club. Taking so many notes. Joshi Bia. Eh? Joshi Bia? Oh, this one! Oh my god. Yeah. I remember this one. Specifically, the one by Harada. This one. Not Yoshi. Uh, the one by Harada, which was, again, like, you know... Well, it, no, it wasn't that dark. But, like, it was kind of like a huge, like... Um, damn, I'm sorry to all the... To all the women. <laughs> Which one is Stockholm? Stockholm. Oh, this one! Yeah! Oh my god. Stop. Stockholm, like... Dude. It made me so sad at the end when she, like... When she came out and... This is spoilers, but it's okay. <laughs> when she came out and, like... Like, no one really cared that she was gone. You know? I was like, oh man, that's like, that's so sad, yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. Man. I like the one by Harada, which was, uh, because a lot of times the the female characters in BL get like really shitty roles, you know, like, like a lot of times they either play the role of like noisy side girl who like wants in on one of the boys, right? Or they're like a, uh... well, actually no. Some sometimes they do get good roles. Like sisters are always good in BL. Um... Though, uh, and then, like, sometimes, you know, they are just, like, strictly friends and they're, like, really well-written, and that's good, too. But, like, a lot of girls get that, like, pushy, that pushy, annoying role, you know, where it's just, it's just kind of in the way of the two guys, right? And it kind of leaves the impression of, like, man, this bitch is so annoying on the reader. <laughs> Right? And it's like... And for a long time because of that, because I read a lot- Dude, this is like the only genre I read. It's bad. It's really bad. I'm, I shouldn't do this, but it happens anyway, right? But um... And because of that, right? Because so many girls are portrayed in such negative ways, I started to really not like... Uh... It... <laughs> I started to really not like um, the way women were written in a lot of works. <laughs> also, Mr. PP <laughs> or Pepe, what do you want? Do you have a request for what the stupid thing is, or do you want me just to pick at random? <laughs> I started to not like real girls. Nah, I think it's just maybe it's because. I see it from a female perspective, but like sometimes when, uh, like the way that girls are written just to me is like, man, this is so unrealistic, <laughs> you know? It's like, I was like, oh, I, like girls would never say that, you know? <laughs> like that sort of thing. Right? Yeah. I'm sure like for guys too, <laughs> for guys too, like, 
Oh, you know, there's probably BL that you read and you're like, wow, guys would never say that, you know? <laughs> I'll put this back on. Because <laughs> I have it on standby. Oh, Toyo. Hold on. I'm lost. I'm lost. Where? What? Oh, no, no, no. I was here. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay, this is this is the list. Okay, I, can't, I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> Oto Omega. Sorry. Oh, did I spell it wrong? Let me try googling it. Uh, he's not on manga decks. Oh, it is a bright story. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll... Here, I'll put it on planter aid. <laughs> oh wow, it reached 100 chapters. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, I can just add it to list. Okay, that's pro that's probably easier than then searching for manga. Okay, so I'll create this first. Be all I remember. Okay. Yeah, I would assume so, given the topic, but... Yeah, okay. We love well-written female characters. I'm trying hard to, like try to branch back into that because because i starred my i was like no i don't want to read anything with women because <laughs> i was just like didn't like how they were written no matter what i watched or anything so i'm trying to i'm trying to step back <laughs> yeah Furuya Nagisa is one of my favorite authors. <laughs> I really like Furuya Nagisa's stuff. Cause, oh, uh, Is S to N even done? Cause I haven't read it. No, see. But, yeah. Cause it's, it's like the sort of romantic-ish, romantic, fluffy BL. It's like really nice to read. Uh, this one is... what was it? Oh, it's a really tired college student and a cafe shop manager. Yeah. Who like meet under the stars. You know? And uh... And it's like kind of like a sort of glance into uh like oh i had a dream but i can't follow it due to a disability that i have <laughs> yeah the art is good yeah but oh it's so good everything by furia nagisa i've always i've always liked man 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 okay Uh, shoot. Oh, shoot, I think I remember this one. See, okay, so there's there's BL that I like because it's like, makes me cry, and then there's BL that I like because it's simply, it's kind of like a stupid premise, but it's still kind of cute. <laughs> 
I'm I'm tired. I'm old. I don't want to deal with the angst anymore. I just want to read something stupid and cute, and then laugh my ass off. <laughs> like, yeah. I do I do remember this one though. I can't remember if I really really liked it or not, but but it was cute. <laughs> I don't remember 17 people. I don't remember this either. Wait, what is this? If he knows. Well, I don't want to open it because he looks like he's taking off his pants there. And I don't want to. You know, it's Twitch, man. You can't flash the screen. <clears throat> Junjo Shonen. What was this? This was Omegaverse, wasn't it? Wasn't this Omegaverse? Does Manga Dex have an Omegaverse tag? No, it is Omegaverse. <clears throat> Understandable that you- This is true. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but- Shoot, see I don't remember this exactly. But I don't remember liking it that much. My friend keeps arguing that Omegaverse is good, and I'm just saying, Omegaverse is the same. It's always the same. I had never seen Omegaverse done and do anything different, right? It's always just like, oh my god, it's like, this guy's an alpha, this guy's an omega. Oh no, the omega goes in heat. Oh wow, he's been trying to suppress it this entire time, but he actually goes in heat. Wow, oh no, and then the alpha has to try to suppress himself in order to not fucking, you know, attack the... Elf Omega guy, right? And it's like, no, but I actually want you because I love you. Blah, 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 blah. It's always the same. I swear, it's always the same. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Men can get pregnant, <laughs> and like women can like have a ding dong. It's but I've never seen anyone write about that. <laughs> I have, I have. Like, are the is there like, you know? But I would just like, <laughs> like, okay, so like, um, I can't talk about this in detail, but like, basically, the that one specific part of the vagina expands. It's weird. It's really weird. I don't know who came up with this and how this kind of became the to be expected, but it's really weird. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, unless you're into that. <laughs> no judgment. But it is like, on surface level, you're like, oh man. That's definitely something I can't talk about at a dinner party. <laughs> I can imagine exactly. You're right. The, the answer is very clear. This is one of the stories that's like, it's, okay, so it's not romantic, it's not really, but it is boys love, right? But like, there's no couple that gets together. Basically, it's a story about a game that's happening in an all-boys school, where the objective is to make your opponent hard. <laughs> yeah. And, um... And then the protagonist, basically this guy, right? The black haired guy on the this page. Uh, it just never works on him. And everyone's like, whoa, dude, you're so good. You're so strong. And he's like, like, yeah, because I'm straight. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's funny. <clears throat> and it's super short. It's yeah, it's like two chapters. Is it two chapters? It's like, I thought it was one chapter, but yeah, it's a one-shot short. Oh wait, I can just not start reading! No, go! Okay. <laughs> this one! Dude. The L that, like... Secret kept them always stopped. <laughs> 
No, like the dude, he, like he likes girls, you know. But like it's it's the all boys school trope where it's basically everyone's like extremely horny because they can't see women. <laughs> but yeah. This one, uh, for divorcee too, a flower blooms. This one's really soft. It's good. A lot of the BL that kind of talks about older couples are always really nice to read, cause it's it's like a breath of fresh air from the sort of um how to say this, like really uh rough younger couples <laughs> right there's this one there's also um another one called old fashioned cupcake which is really good but yeah shoot i kind of want to reread this i should make a new list let's call a new list called to reread <laughs> to reread yeah or like s s yeah This is another one by Furia Nagisa, and um, it's not on Manga Dex. I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. Or maybe you can buy it in English. Nope. <laughs> oh wait, no, official English, it's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um... I'm pretty sure it was these two guys are movie lovers. Yeah, they they watch movies together all the time and then they talk about it afterwards. It's like that sort of friendship that builds into a over more romantic relationship. And then like the like the final sort of confession them getting together scene is also based on like the movies they watch, which is really cute. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. See ya! Sorry I'm streaming again, it's like 2am. But yeah, see ya, Good night. hopefully. <laughs> Did I add this? Okay. Happy birthday, I don't remember, but I do want to reread it, because I think it was pretty good. Because, but it was like, um... I think it was like, uh, three couples. Or was it two? Or was it one? I don't remember. <laughs> this is why I need to reread it. Hinatama uh, is not BL to my surprise because I mean, at certain points it really does feel like BL but it's not. These guys are just friends. But it's it's cute though. It's like it's a short two volumes, only eighteen chapters. You can get through it in a night, right? It's a it's cute, soft, soft read. Basically, um, this blonde guy, right? I think he's he's is he's he's either a half or an eighth. No, it's not shown in eye either. It's they they are really just friends. <laughs> they never. They like, it, you know, they have like the blushing around your homies curse, but they really are just friends in the end. Like they never establish a relationship or anything. Like Yuri on Ice, that whatever that genre is. <laughs> but the blonde guy, um, I think he wasn't half. He was like an eighth European, right? And then he comes from the city, he comes from like big Tokyo city, and he moves to like a smaller rural area, right? Where the black haired guy lives. Yeah. And then, you know, it's like them settling in, and then he also, he has um, three younger siblings. He has um, a younger brother, a younger sister, and a baby brother. Yeah. <laughs> and they're super cute. It's, it, it's like, it's mainly following them. So. 
It's cute. It's cute. Oh, this one. I don't quite remember this one. <laughs> but I remember, I like, after reading, I do remember reading this. But I don't remember if it was really good or not. It's another situation where, like, the guy is, uh, misunderstands the name on the letter. Yeah. So a female high school student he happens to see on the commute to school, Hifumisa. Right? And then he gives it, like, he reads it wrong, because he it's actually the girl's older brother, right? So he acts, he get, writes a love letter to the his sister, but then accidentally gives it to... But accidentally addresses it to her brother instead, right? <laughs> and then that's how... That's their me cute. <laughs> I don't remember seven days. But I do remember people talking about it a lot. I remember my friend used to really like Seven Days, but I don't remember what it's about. I'm pretty sure it's like, like, oh, wait, hold on. It's, I'm pretty sure it's like, oh, please, like, date, like, trial date me for Seven Days. Friend line. It's good. Oh, I remember this one. This one, I mean, take it as you will. It's like it's it's nice, but some people might not like the topic. But like, basically, um, the darker-haired guy is in like a bad relationship, but then the lighter-haired guy kind of takes notice and is like, hey, come with, come live with me instead of your boyfriend because your boyfriend's an asshole, right? So yeah. I do remember this one. Okay. Do, 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 do. Sick. I remember reading in middle school, but I don't remember the specifics. <clears throat> They do end up together, yeah. <clears throat> the guy who basically, quote unquote, rescues, I guess, for lack of a better word, the black haired guy. See, I don't remember. I don't remember sick. But I don't remember it being super amazing. <laughs> Like, I remember, it's like, it's another just like, oh, you know, it was cute. <laughs> Who is this guy? Who is this again? What was this again? I don't remember. This. This. And this. Are all about gangs, but I, I don't remember. The <laughs> it's the cat, the cat one. I don't remember specifically what it's about. Man, man, I always make fun of Miko for going through men like tissues, but maybe I'm the one who goes through men like tissues. <laughs> okay. We don't that not remember. I don't remember. Reread it. Reread. Okay. This one too, I also don't remember. But it's by Ogre at Satanica. These. <laughs> this. I remember. This one's fluffy. Cute. This is Shoujo though. This is Girls Love. GL. This is GL. Or basically, it's um, the shorter hair girl uh, falls for this girl, but she thinks that this girl's a guy, <laughs> right? And like for in, for like the majority of the story, she keeps thinking that she's a guy. 
It's, it's cute though. Honto Yaju Dude. So, um, one of my friends in middle school told me to read this, and I read the entire thing, but I don't remember a lick. I th it's it's a cop and a Yakuza member, yeah. <clears throat> but I don't remember much of it. I, mean, I didn't remember super liking it either. <laughs> House backer. So don't remember, but I really should reread. Because, okay, because a lot of the works by this author, Natsume Isaku, I've read, but I don't quite remember. <laughs> I really like Natsume Isaku's works, so. though. Like, A Mario Paradox, and then, um, uh, Heart No Kaku Rega. I can read. Uh, those two are like some of my favorites, cause it, cause I I like her humor a lot, right? And um, the romance that she writes is also really good. So it's just a good combination. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Kamisama. Oh wait. <laughs> My friend recently recommended this to me. Yeah, I remember. This is this one is really cute. <laughs> it's about um. So it's set in a universe where what was it? What was it? winged messengers? Right, take care of gods, and it's about this guy with like really tiny wings, <laughs> and he gets bullied all the time because he has tiny ass wings and he can't really fly, you know. And then he gets sent out to meet this god and take care of him, who lives like way outside of the normal, usual area, right? He lives like way on the border, far away from the central god zone, <laughs> right? And they, and then, but they like the what they've met met in the past, you know? And they, it's a, it's a cute, yeah. I don't know if there's a picture of him, but the yeah, so. So he has like his human form, but he also has like this god form, which is just this giant fluffy ball. <laughs> and the giant fluffy ball also like has hands when needed. <laughs> and he stays like a ball for like the majority of the time. <laughs> and also the art is super good, so. Good art goes a long way. <clears throat> Like, sometimes BL might be super good, like the story might be really good, but if the art's not as good to match, it's just not, like, yeah. <laughs> this one. This one has, like, a funny setup, but it's actually, like, it's really cute, it's really wholesome. Um, where, uh, this one guy, the guy on the cover, with the ears, works in a maid cafe, um, but it's a it's a cross-dressing maid cafe, right? And, um, you know, he doesn't really have a lot of fans because he's not, like, super feminine. You know, he, he has the build of a kind of muscular guy, right? So when he cross-dresses, obviously, it's not super convincing, <laughs> right? But then, so, what was it? I think the, the blonde guy here, like... Uh, yeah, he went to the cross dressing maid cafe as a punishment game, right? And then um, <laughs> he gets like Mako, who's the buff guy, <laughs> to serve him, and eventually kind of falls for him because he's really cute. <laughs> like he he's built mean and strong, but he's really cute. Yeah. And he just he becomes his like oh I'm like I'm your number one fan. <laughs> He's cute. And then okay so um oh right I remember this. Hold on I forgot to add these things. Oh my god. Where to go me? No not continue reading. Go back. Okay. 
I reread that one a couple times, and I reread this, or I read this one recently. This one I remember, uh, but it wasn't like it was. It was. It's cute, but like it's not. It's nothing special. <laughs> it's a college students um, meetup. Oh wait, yeah. Where it's like uh, friends. What was it? Oh, friends in middle school who re meet, who meet again in college. Yeah. Hiro to Kagira. Do you know Sasaki to Miyano? Sasaki Miyano recently got an anime, and then like a lot of people were reacting to it. Or I, I don't know. I went I went on YouTube and I looked for reactions to to shows that I like because I have no other people to talk to them about. So I watch people react to it because I feel like wow, it's like I have a friend. <laughs> So, you know, and also because I kind of want to see the reactions of people who usually don't read BL. But a lot of people were like, reacting to Sasaki uh, to Miyano, right? But they were like, oh yeah, you know, this is probably a good first BL for people. Sasaki to Miyano is not a good first BL. <laughs> Sasaki to Miyano is like, because it... it because Miyano's a fudanshi, right? So he's gonna make a bunch of jokes that only people who read BL or talk about it will understand, you know? <laughs> so it's like, if you go into it just like, without knowing anything about BL, it's it, like the jokes fall flat, you, you don't get it, you know? And it's also supposed to kind of like a like a huge part of Sasaki to Miyano you know, is like they're like they're not really they're trying to stray away from tropes if that makes sense <clears throat> like they wanted like Miyano's like super consistent on like oh I don't want my life to be a BL you know because he, he reads all the BL and he kind of he doesn't really want that in his life right but they're trying to establish it's like Oh, but this is like a real relationship compared to BL, which is fictional, you know, and there's a difference between the two. Right, like in a real relationship, it wouldn't be as tropey as BL is, like that sort of thing. Right, and if you don't read BL, you don't know what, what they're talking about, so. <laughs> oh man, I might have to private this VOD later, because <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <clears throat> And then Hirano to Kagiro is their side story. And it's also super cute! It's super cute! <clears throat> right, because Kagiro is, um... Kagiro is, like, Miyano's friend. Miyano and, um, Sasaki's friend. Right? And then... Or... No, not Ka Hirano is, yeah, and Kagiro is his roommate. <clears throat> and it's- he's like- Kag Kagi is like the sort of like golden retriever type of guy. <laughs> and Hirano is the- uh, Well, you know, like he's- hmm. How to describe him. He's really firm on his beliefs. <laughs> and he's a good model student. And he's also like never fallen in love before, which is a fun trope. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The serious type? Yeah, like the series type, yeah. He dresses like, um, like a punk, though, because he thinks it's cool, but he's actually, um, you know, like a mo model student. He's lawful good. <laughs> actually, no, he's probably more lawful neutral. He, like, I mean, he he's broken the rule once, that's all I've seen. 
And it was for Kagi, but... Uh, but like, yeah. <laughs> but he, he usually is very strict about the rules. Yeah. I don't remember this one. Childhood friends with a year of difference. Something towards his friend. Impure, not correct, dirty feeling. What? I don't remember what this is. But I've read this recently. Okay, I'll reread. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure this is still ongoing. Yeah. Wait, no, they're at six. Okay. It's probably near the end. But this one's... This one's pretty cute. Because <laughs> I was following it for a while, because I started when they had, like, a chapter or two uploaded. Um... And it's... Yeah, it's an older guy. An older guy, and he used to be... Or, what was it? He was like, um, like a famous chef or something? What was it? Yeah, oh no, famous culinary researcher. Yeah. And then the younger guy is a editor. And he's supposed to write a column about him. So he visits, it, visits him at his home. Right? And he likes food, so. Wow, match made in heaven. <laughs> And then, hold on, there's like a... There's a really funny line, but I can't... Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, you idiot! What other reason do you have for living besides eating, Tomoya? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> he looks like Arter. He does look like Arteron! Yeah! Without the facial hair, but yeah. He does also give off that vibe though. He's he like <laughs> He like he's you know, he's kinda goofy. He's like dad joke type of goofy, I would say. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm a very big fan of Hollow Stars. I follow them very closely. Well, I mean, not super recently, but, um, well, kind of super recently. I've been trying to get back to watching their streams, but I, I, man, Hollow Stars, man, Hollow Stars hurts my heart like nothing else, <laughs> or not hurts my heart, hits my heart. <laughs> Why are you doubting me? <laughs> yeah. My friends are like, oh man, you know, I really want to get into Whole Stars and I made like... Well, I have like a playlist of a bunch of English subbed clips, right? And then I made like separate playlists for each and every boy. I was like, oh, this is this boy short introduction. Here is a playlist of the clips that I like from him. Like, dude, I've mm -hmm, yep, I I'm down deep. I was down deep, and then I took a break because I had to do other things, but <laughs> my friends only watch girls. Your friends need to broaden their taste. They sound like a, a middle school she who got turned off by how badly girls were written in BL and refuses to watch any <laughs> any content with girls anymore. <laughs> oh man. This one? Okay, so the cover gives off a very rom vibe, but I swear it's like very innocent, you know? And I think it's because like the author had to come up with a, you know, like a clickbaity cover. Because <laughs> in the in the last chapter, I think they go over it, yeah, where they're like, this is the first cover draft and it didn't pass. 
right? This one was the first one, and then this is the second one that passed. And this is the one that passed. And I was like, I see, I understand. It was the tentacles. That's what passed. <laughs> but, but I swear, it's, it's really cute. It's really wholesome. <laughs> and then, um... Shoot, what was it? There, and then, basically, it's about this... Okay, so this black-haired guy is, um... Really into marine life. This guy really likes marine life. Like, yeah. He knows, like, all these fun facts, and, you know, he... <laughs> There's, like, one panel of him building, um, like, a sculpture of a fish during class. <laughs> yeah. So the black-haired guy really likes marine animals, and then the blonde-haired guy is, um, gay. <laughs> like, that's his... yeah. He's, he's gay, and he has internalized homophobia, so... Which is always a good combination. <laughs> um... Right? And it's kind of, uh, basically saying how... Because the black-haired guy really likes marine life, but everyone kind of finds him a little bit weird because he's so into fish. <laughs> right? And they're like, uh-huh, that, that, that's nice, right? So he doesn't really have super close friends, I guess. Right? And meanwhile, the blonde-haired guy has, like, shallow friendships, but he doesn't really have close friendships because he feels kind of isolated from everyone because he's, you know, gay. <laughs> so he he's like, oh, you know, from the black-haired guy, it's sort of like he learns how to be more himself. Or, like, he, he learns how to be... how to express himself more. Because he sees him, he's like, yeah, you know, if you talk about fish all the time, people are gonna look at you weird, but he doesn't really mind it because it's one of his big passions. Right? And he's like, oh, you know, if you learn from that, and then, yeah. Ignoring the synopsis. Ignoring the synopsis. It's, yeah. It's a good story! <laughs> I'm not trying to justify tentacle stuff. I swear. This is like, um, there's like, what was, uh, what? There's like a one uh, pro ZD skit when he was like, the boob window on her suit was actually a metaphor to, uh, for people to look past her outer self and into her inner self. <laughs> this isn't like that, I swear. <laughs> Love Circus is also pretty good. Dude, what? What are you? What? You know the pro ZD skit, right? I think it's the one that's like called anime fans or something, where they can they try to like justify like things that are really done for like corny purposes as like, no, no, it has like a deeper meaning. <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, it wasn't super clear. Loved Circus. Loved Circus is... What? It only has a 7.88? Okay, the ending falls flat. Okay, I'm pretty... Because I don't remember the eight ending. I think I erased it from my memory. But, uh, Love Circus is... I like the setup. You know. Because it's, um, it's about a male brothel. Wait, no. Shoot, I don't remember if I... Did I like this one? I don't remember. <laughs> I need to reread this. I thought I remembered it, but I don't. Never mind. <laughs> this story scarred... My middle school self. I remember so clearly every single detail. Not every single detail, but like one specific detail. And I will never ever forget it ever in my entire life. I am compl- I, I have compl- Like, man, dude. 
don't read well actually read BL in middle school but don't read this one in middle school <laughs> oh my god <clears throat> I will never- I will never forget it for as long as I live. Never ever ever. And I can't really say what it is because Twitch will... <clears throat> but yeah, just know I am- I- I have been scarred. <laughs> Actually, no, no, it's more funny than it is, like, inappropriate, I would say, actually. Where was I? Oh yeah. Where is... Was it this one? Was it at the very end? Ah! Ah! Look away! 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 You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything at all. You did not see anything. If you saw something, you must have imagined it. Because <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> not in my pure, um, totally family-friendly stream. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm trying to find where it is, but this is one of the stories that has, like, ten other stories in it. Lies. No! I swear. Where is it? Hold on, I'll find I'll find it eventually. Mark my words. You gotta believe in me. It's at the very end of their their story. Yeah, it's only like three chapters long. Wait, no, it's not. Wait, what? It's not here? Hold on. Then was it the second chapter? Wait, wait, am I going crazy? Where is it? Uh, uh, or maybe I was scrolling through it too fast? What? I'm losing my mind. Slowly losing my mind. Uh, because I, I remember it's like. One of the things that happened at the very, very end. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, man. No, but then it goes into another story. Okay, well, whatever. I can't find the panel, but basically what happens is that, um... Here, I'll use the scientifically correct word. This guy, the glasses guy, takes the semen from this guy and puts it in his paint to paint with it. That's what happens. And I have never been cured from that in my entire life. It will stick with me forever, and I will always remember this detail. I can't find the panel where it happens, but... Yeah. The more you know! <laughs> and the funny- because I was talking to other people and like, they also remember the specific scene. <laughs> it's like a shared memory between people who are obsessed with Bia. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I remember that one where the guy puts the semen in the paint. <laughs> <clears throat> and if Twitch is angry, don't be angry at me. I'm using the scientifically correct terms. You know, this isn't a sexual thing. You know, I'm I'm merely educating, um, educating people. No, no, no. He mixes it. He mixes it in. Like, like it's not just that. It's that plus paint. Like it's together. <clears throat> Anyway, let's move on to a different topic. <clears throat> Princess Princess has an anime, and I remember liking it a lot. Like, I thought it was really good. Yeah. 
Um, but it's, uh, the concept is, uh, basically, it's an all-boys school, right? And, um, well, within the all-boys school, in order to have, give them, what, what was it, quote-unquote motivation, right? They have more feminine boys, like, cross-dress. And it's not B.O. It's not B.O. and it has no, like, bad things happen, you know, but it's like... Like, there is, like, one scene, like, because I'm pretty sure the blonde guy's gay, like, just saying, but, you know. It was fun to watch, though. It has an anime. <laughs> <clears throat> Motivation. Oh! Yeah. Yamato to Shonen. I remember liking. It's an but it's um it's an older guy and like a high school student, so if that's not your thing, be warned. But like, you know. It's cute though. It's cute. Uh oh Fu Nagisa work. Always great. Futari no lion. Shoot, I don't remember this one completely. I'm gonna reread it. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember this. What is this? I don't... Man, too many I don't remember. Also, I remember I picked this one up because I saw on the cover this guy with the black hair and glasses reminded me from of Joker from Persona 5. And I was like, wow, it's Joker in the VL story. But his, his personality is not the same, of course. <laughs> it was like, it's okay. It was okay. But I don't... I don't remember super liking it, though. Tonari no Madeleur san It's about this guy who's like a heavy metal fan and then the guy who he lives next door this guy lives next door to the heavy metal fan <laughs> yeah, And it's basically it's like um like a shy introverted guy opens up to a more outgoing friendly guy that sort of relationship which is Always fun to- <laughs> Always fun to read about. I liked it, I thought it was cute. Oh my god, it's in count! In count! Dude, in- man, dude, I can't even talk about it, but oh my god. In count, man, oh my god. <laughs> in count, in count. Was uh, what was this? Oh, this one. Okay, this one was okay. This one was all right. It's um. Hmm, how to describe? You know, perfected the art of a false smile, you kind of know his character immediately. <laughs> and then the other guy is sort of like a, the, the scary, delinquent looking type of guy, but in actuality he's like... He's a total softie, <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm, like, he's, he's a big family guy, like he has a... I forgot, was it his mom or he has like a younger sibling that he takes care of? I forgot. But it, I think it was something like that. It's, um, yes. Yes. Is it a good encount or bad encount? Yes. It's yes. Oh my god, I really hope they make an anime out of this. 
Why is it so low? I really like this one! <laughs> I really like this one. Cause... Like, okay, so... So, okay. You know. This guy, right? Basically, the main... It's not actually... It says boys love. Well, no, it is boys love. It is kind of boys love. You know, because I don't think any of the couples were officially established, but they obviously do like each other, right? But like, the main couple, right? Um, this guy... With the Stompaku eyes, and then the, um... The cross-dressing guy, right? <laughs> Pretty girl. <laughs> right? The main couple is the one that's not as good. All the other couples are super good. They're super cute, right? And um Right, but like the the main cross-dressing guy kind of he's kind of a dick. Like I don't know how to explain this to you. It's cuz he's um how is how to say this? He's sort of like always teasing that sort of character, you know? And like, it, it has been described that he does care, right? You know? But he he doesn't really ever show it. Like, actually show it. I don't think so. Um, yeah. And it's just, man, like, I don't know. It's not not the best feeling, <laughs> but all the other cute couples are are super cute. Cause uh, so the blonde blonde crossdresser guy runs a crossdressing club in their school, right? And everyone's like pretty accepting of it, right? And um, all the guys in the crossdressing club kind of become part of the the main cast, and um. They have like obviously they have like different reasons for why they cross dress, but it's it's like it, I don't know it's just fun to look into it. It's fun. It's nice to read. But the main couple, man, <sighs> right? Especially at the very end, I thought, I thought that, I thought that this guy would crack, and like, you know, cause cause Ushiwaka, you know, he had this fake crush on the quote girl. Right? That wasn't actually a girl, that was actually a guy. Right? That's the meat cute. But like, at the end, he he's like, you know, I'm still gonna pursue this crush, even though, um... I feel like it's hopeless or something like that. Right? Because he hasn't liked another girl afterwards. Right? And I thought that he was gonna... The blonde guy, I thought he was gonna crack and be like, Oh great, you know, like, let's actually, you know, get together relationship. Or he was gonna get flustered and embarrassed. I don't know, right? But he did- he stays the same, like, nothing happens, and I don't understand. Like, it would be so nice if he had, like, a gap between his usual kind of snarky self and then a more embarrassed side. Like, that would be really cute, but it didn't happen, and I don't understand why. So, yeah. Sorry, this just- this kind of just turns into like me ranting about PL. Well, no, that was my title, so that's fine. The stream topic is still the same. It is tagged with BL though, so... Prunus girl? Prunus girl. Prunus girl? I do not know. Shonen. Shonen? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, the setup is kind of like that. Sir, you are showing so much stomach. Okay. Oh, this one shot. I remember. I remember this one shot. It's a one shot, so, you know. <laughs> but it's it's nice. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wait, I want to reread this one. I remember really liking this one. It was super cute. Oh man, wait, this one is really cute. It's the guy who's given up on love meets a guy who teaches him how to love again. That sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Junjo. Do I even need to put Junjo on the list? No, I do not need to put Junjo on the list. Junjo Romantica. Junjo Romantica, the only VL series to have three anime seasons. I still can't believe it. If you want a BL to start with, here you go. This is it. Junjo Romantica. Because it's like... It's, you know, it's got a hundred chapters. It's... It's long. It's big. <laughs> it, it It's like... Sort of what you expect from like... BL. <laughs> right? Obviously, you don't have to read all of it, but like, like the, and the anime has parts where I think it's awkward, but but still, that's 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 the thing you should start with. I don't know, maybe I'm biased because that's what I started with. <laughs> this one, I remember his favorite. I remember reading this in high school, middle school. I don't remember. And I remember telling my friend about it, I was like, oh, it's super cute, and she's like, I don't like the art. <laughs> I'm like, fair, but like, okay. Or it's, um, there's like, this is not the guy, but like, there's a handsome guy, whose name is Sato, and Sato really likes Yoshida, which is this guy, right? And Yoshida has kind of like a quote-unquote not-that-attractive face. <laughs> Right, but 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 despite that, he really likes him, which is cute. Oh my god, this! Holy shit! Have you ever read this? This is. You really like that? Oh, good. Not enough people do. <laughs> A world where everything definitely becomes VL versus the man who definitely does not want to be in a VL. I am waiting for the day that this gets an anime. I am waiting. S I, dude, man, I, re I've reread this story so many times. It's one of my favorites because I really, I love parody stories. Right? It has a nine, nine star rating. Uh, deserved though. But yeah. <laughs> Your brother commented, your brother has taste. <clears throat> again, it's- but it's- again, it's like something that you should read if you've read BL before. Like, you can't- if you read it without reading BL, like, they explain stuff to you, but like, sometimes you just won't get it. I would say. But like, man, this? This is... Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, the main character, who doesn't even have a name, by the way, he's he's a mob, he's a quote-unquote mob character. Right? He's an NPC who lives in a BL universe, right? Where pretty much, it's not finished, it's not finished, it's still going. It's on volume 2. Or it's done with volume 2. Yeah. But he's he's a mob character. He's an NPC in a BL world where um literally every trope happens. <laughs> and like all the couples are gay. Basically. How that results in people having kids in the future, no idea. But yeah. But like yeah, right? And he- he's like, man, I definitely do not want to be part of a BL. So he like- he- he, he narrates the stories, right? But he kind of does it in like a- like a survival journal sort of way. <laughs> Where he's like, you know, like, oh... He kind of like talks as if he knows exactly how the world works. Which, I mean, he does, but... 
right? And then he's like, oh, if you if you don't want to be caught up in this situation, this is exactly what you should do. <laughs> Hello! Hello, Chicken Nuggets Veldron. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm talking about something very embarrassing. So, um, if you're not interested, I will not be offended if you look away. Yeah. You should read it. It's super- it's really funny. It's really good. <laughs> well, no, I didn't include it. Okay. I, I really like parody stories. So it's- it's like this one plus Gekkan Shoujo no Soki-kun plus Gintama. It's like my triple- like, oh man, I really like these three. <laughs> Like, they're like, those three are like, one of my favorites. Sayonai... Oji-san... ...to... ...Ohore-sama Yankee-kun. Why does this rating really low? It's... This one's really funny! It's it's another older guy, obviously, and then it's him and, like, this Yankee... ...delinquent type of guy. <laughs> This one's really funny, I don't know why it's rated so low. Oh, you're probably gonna have to look somewhere else for... Because it definitely has more than two chapters, but yeah. We're not gonna talk about Killing Stalking. <laughs> Did I already add this one? To reread. So I need to remember that. I also don't remember this. Oh! <laughs> Wait, was it this one? Shoot, I Wait, never mind, I gotta reread this. I think I'm getting it confused with the other guy. With the other one, which is on the other page. But yeah. Oh, it's filling up. It sure is filling up. Okay. How long has this stream been going? An hour 30, that's not that bad. Futanshi Kazuku is really good. <laughs> Cause, um... And I like, I feel like, like, it's... I don't know, because it's 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 BL, but it's not really BL, because um, it's kind of parroting parody. It's not parody. It's like like slice of life of people who like BL, uh, with the addition of like um, explaining stuff about. Uh, Bo, as well. C explaining things like um, stuff that would go on if you're part of that community, basically, which is nice to read about. Um, but there is an actual story. There is like okay, so <laughs> the dad is, <laughs> is extremely funny because the dad, um. What was it? He's like, yeah, I've been reading VL since, like, I was born. <laughs> right? And, um... And he was, like, completely open about it. You know, like, in high school, everyone's, everyone knows that he reads VL. <laughs> and his wife, um... His wife is also, of course, a Fujoshi, right? And... Unfortunately, she passes away. She passed away, right? A long time ago. But, um, but, like, she, like, comes back, like, you can, like, there's, like, what, there's, like, um, parts where, like, she's, like, in heaven watching over them, right? <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah. Oh, shoot, I can't remember, uh, where exactly it was. But I think I have a screenshot of it. Give me a sec. 
There's like one extremely insane. So it's only a double it's exactly. <laughs> There's one like really funny image that I got from it that I need to find where it is. Here it is. Because holding hands is like having sex in public. And then the author's note definitely wrong. <laughs> where do I put this? Here. If I'm ever to make like a BL out of context, <clears throat> BL out of context Twitter or video, th uh, this is definitely being. <laughs> <clears throat> what was this one? I remember this one, but I don't. But I don't. But I read it recently. What was this? Oh, it's pining. It's unrequited love that's actually requited. Yeah, always good. <laughs> okay. Oh shoot, I opened it on the other tab. Ah! Maybe I'll only go through half of it. I mean, like, it's taking a while. What was this? <sighs> I don't remember this one. I don't remember if I liked this one. I think it was just... Okay. Did you learn anything new? Um, I'm pretty sure the last time we talked it was the same day. Wait, no, actually no. The day, the day is different, but it's only been three hours into the quote-unquote day, so. Did I learn anything new? No, but I reaffirmed the knowledge that I know before. <laughs> Damn it, why did my voice have to crack there? Okay, I've kept this one in my list for the longest time, but I do not remember a lick of what happens in this one. Don't worry, my brain is also mush. I mean, do you see my follows? Yeah. <laughs> I remember this one, Sha is cute. Okay. <laughs> I had to reread this one because I don't remember. Because I read it so long ago. So many things I read so long ago. This one I read recently though. It has it has two volumes, but for some reason they're separated on on this <laughs> they separated the three volumes here. Instead of putting it under one thing. But yeah. This okay. I don't know. It's it was it's okay. It's better than I thought it was gonna be. This one, cause the black haired guy keeps calling himself trash. And like I I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the the self deprecating type. <laughs> Wait, no, he's trash, but he has, like, standards. He's trash with standards. Because, <laughs> like, there are some things that he's, like... I don't know. He's not super self-deprecating. He just calls himself trash, which is, like, 
He, and he says it in like a cool way, like, yeah, I'm self-aware. <laughs> yeah. And then um, the blonde haired guy has had a crush on him since kindergarten, so. <laughs> it's a, it's like, it's a cute setup. And um, obviously the darker haired guy doesn't remember the blonde haired guy at all. <laughs> from a kindergarten, right? So when the blonde hair guy confesses to him, he thinks it's a joke. Because he's really popular, you know? And then he's kind of like the self- self-diagnosed loner, so... <laughs> yeah. But it is- it- 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 it's cute. There's three volumes, the relationship develops really well, so... To remember. Looking for s what is this? Countryside. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Um. So about what's happening here, um, I'm just going over the VL and my follows list and talking about it while I add them to another list because because I have my because all my friends are dead. So I remember this one though. I don't really I hmm. It was okay. This one it was okay. This guy is kind of a jerk. Kind of. You know? He's like... Yeah. He's more of a... More bad boy than soft boy, but... Um... I don't remember disliking it. Kitoji made boyfriend. Oh my god! Kitoji made boyfriend! Your boyfriend is, is, um, is okay. Which is, I'm pretty sure my hero was like, way more popular because the anime got named after this. Your <laughs> Jerry, my hero. There's a lot. I I don't remember the specifics of um They're both kind of related? Yeah. They happen in the same universe. It this is um this was the original story, Hitori Jime boyfriend, right? And then they got a spin-off, Hitori Jime my hero. Right. Um but, like, all the characters know each other. Yeah. I don't remember if it was- I think it was this one. Where there was, like, an unrequited love. Uh, between this guy, the blonde-haired guy, and, like, uh, one of the side characters that I did not see coming at all. I remember that shocked me a lot. But that's- that's the only- specific thing I remember about these stories. <laughs> oh, but if you're like... If you're thinking of like, oh, what events... This one happens first. Hitori and Jimmy boyfriend. The events in this happen first, and then... The side characters in this get a spin-off, basically. Yeah. What was number called? Oh! The 8 guy! <laughs> I don't quite remember this one, but it was by Furi and Nagisa, so I'm sure it's amazing. <laughs> I also don't remember this one, but... I think the... The concept... Yeah, it's... Um... What was it? 
He he's enjoying a second youth by pretending to be a high school student. Oh hey, it's Yorita Asunota. <laughs> oh hey! Oh n When did I filter out pornographic? I have never filtered out pornographic in my entire life. What are you talking about? Have you seen my follows? What? Lies. Lies and deceit. They're lying. What? Where's my where's my settings? I need to change this right now. Content filter. Wait, isn't it not checked? I, what? You're on incognito? Shouldn't that mean that pornographic should be just not filtered at all? Like, okay, I think it's better now. Okay. Imagine filtering porn. Yeah, imagine not having... Yes, anyway. Oh, I had to reread this one because I don't remember the specifics. Isn't your to also like kind of sad though? Yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah, man. Secret of me and my oh my god, oh my god. Kashi Chiyaki also has some really good. Stories, I man, dude. So, Secret of Me and My Boss, I really like a lot. Right? It's um, so this black haired guy is a closeted idol fan, right? And you know, he's basically like a closeted otaku idol fan, right? And then his boss, right, is a gay man who, and we follow his perspective. Right, so basically, um, Mikado, Mikado, Mikado thinks that he sleeps every day with like a different guy. He thinks like his boss is like a total uh, playboy, and he's also extremely m mean to him. Like he bullies him all the time. Right, but oh, it's so man, man. Ane Anezaki, Anezaki, Anezaki is like uh. Like it's it's sad with like uh, ah uh, I can't words it's hard to ah uh, uh, yeah 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 my friend was like I don't I, I remember reading this I don't remember liking it it's like no it's one of my favorites that just shows different taste. This one also by Kashima Chiaki is like, it's really good. Sen sensei mo dame this. Like, oh. Uh, so, glasses guy here, right? He is a. No, he's a, he's a manga artist. And he's like, I'm gonna try drawing BL. Right? Um, wait, no, no, he already started drawing BL. And then the shaggier guy in the background photos. Right, he's an editor, so he gets assigned to help this guy out because oh no, he gets well he gets transferred to the BO section of their magazine, right? And then he gets a he chooses to help this guy out because he quote unquote draws really good dicks. And he's like, how did you get this stuff so detailed? Like, there's no way a girl drew this. And he's like, oh, he's a guy. That makes sense. <laughs> then um. Right, and like this guy is like completely he's man. Um the author, right, is so uh how to say this? Like he's really um, He's really lost on romance. Is that how we like 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 he doesn't really want a relationship. Does that make sense? And like everything he's doing, right, makes the shaggy guy fall for him. But like, he's 
Uh, trust issues. That's what it is. Trust issues. <laughs> Did I add it? I'll find it later. I had to reread this one, but I remember it being pretty good. Don't read this one. This one, come si ate. I God, this like no, no, like even like if it's like a dark tone, like it's it's just man, it just makes you sad. Like there's no like happy ending. Like it's like a happy ending, but it's kind of bittersweet. They dress it up as a happy ending, but you're like, this isn't really the best, like you know? And it's um Yeah, just no. <laughs> I don't know. If you want to read it and be like, what the hell, at the very end, sure, go ahead, but like, man. <laughs> man, it just makes you sad. Oh, oops, I did not want to open a new tab. What was this? Also no, you need no, it. Sorry, I'm illiterate. What did he write? I don't think I know. But if it's like bitter bittersweet endings yeah kind of like that <clears throat> what was this again i don't remember i guess i'll reread it even though i think i reread it recently man Keep a heart of fall in love. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We start with Onaka. Oh, this is really cute. This one's really cute. If Blue Lynx is watching, Blue Lynx, hey, you should make an anime out of this one. Please, it's it's really cute. <laughs> oh, it, it even has it has a sequel too. Oh no, this is the sequel. This is the first one. And this is the sequel. <sighs> this is really, oh man. Man. Yeah. It's um uh, so Okay, so the dark-haired guy, right? Tokyo, 25-year-old, Kazuka. Kazuka Mitsuomi, right? Comes back unemployed. He comes back to his, um, his, like, his countryside home. After not having a great time in Tokyo getting a job, so. <laughs> right? And he kind of, he comes home with the idea of running the family business instead. Right? And his dad's kind of like... Well, his dad's not really feeling it. I mean, understandable, though. And, um... And then the other guy, the taller, blonder guy, is a... Who is it? He... He lives with his grandpa. Who adopted him. And, um... He's been... He's like... He's like, well-known in the neighborhood kind of as like yeah like all the like all the aunties love him that sort of thing <laughs> and then it's how they get along it's really cute <laughs> what was this again
I don't think this one was super good. <laughs> Hana to Usaki. <laughs> uh, to Usaki was like, this is really cute though. I, re I remember, I read this in middle school and I liked it a lot. Because, <laughs> uh, so he is a delivery guy. And every day, every day, every week, he delivers like um, craft materials to this one guy's house, right? But he answers the door with a bunny head on, <laughs> cause he he's like really shy and he doesn't like looking people in the eyes, so he wears a bunny head <laughs> to avoid people staring at his face. Right? Uh, it's one shot. Edit that. Did I add this one? No. There we go. Did I add this one? I did. Okay. Nichiro days is not BL, but if you want to see guys being bros or dudes being bros, like this, yeah. <laughs> Like, it's literally called Rainbow Days, but it's actually not as gay as you think it would be. <laughs> they all have, like, female love interests, and, um, it's really cute, actually. So, yeah. They have an- I, I'm pretty sure they have an anime. Yeah. Yeah, they do have- a, okay, yeah. They have an anime, and I think, yeah, the manga is also finished, so. A good 55, 57 chapter read. <laughs> but yeah, this one's really cute. I should go look for a reaction video on Nichiro Days. So I can have feel the feeling of friends. Okay. What is... Oh! This one! I... I remember this one slightly. This was, um, yeah. It was a actor. Both of, like, okay, so both of these guys are actors. Or all three of them are actors, actually. <laughs> so the dark-haired guy, um, is an actor currently. And he's gonna star in a film with the, with the kid, right? And the kid's just like a child actor. Um, and then the kid's manager is actually an actor, used to be an actor that the black haired guy looked up to. Yeah. Nature Days Discord watch along. Yeah, the family type, like. I feel like, like a good handful of them, I haven't read enough to say so exactly, but like a good handful- they're usually pretty good, yeah. This I read recently. Oh my god, it <laughs> this one was so good! This one was way better than I thought it was gonna be! <clears throat> Cause, okay, so, you know, cause I thought it was gonna be from the perspective of the blonde-haired guy who's pining after um, the glasses, right? Like Dokuse sort of situation, but <clears throat> but it's actually told from the glasses guy's point of view, right? And the, so the glasses guy sees like this physical red string of fate between him and this, <laughs> and between him and this like you know, delinquent looking guy. He's like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> oh, but it's, it's really cute, man. And it's, it's also shown an eye, yeah. Okay, that's- <gasps> What is this? cover I have not seen before. I didn't even recognize this story because I've never seen this cover. Okay, but they didn't update recently. It was just a cover. This one is 
drawn by the same person who drew、um, Ore Monogatari. And it's so good. This one, it's so good. Like, Ore Monogatari is like really good, right? There's an anime, My Love Story. Like, it's really funny, wholesome, cute sort of thing. Right? Big chunky guy likes like a super cute girl, and the, everyone, and the super cute girl also has like a massive crush on him, and everyone's like, why do you like this guy? <laughs> yeah.、Um, but this one. Ah, okay. This is. What was.、Um, Shoot, I don't know how to explain it. But, um. It's like. It's like a really good romance. Yeah. I didn't watch it when it was airing because it looked weird. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. So, this is like the same artist, right? But, oh my god. Look, okay, so. The faces that. This guy pulls are some of the funniest I've ever seen. What was it? His name is. It's not Aoki. Aoki. Is this Aoki? Oh, yeah, his name is Aoki, right? So he originally has a crush on Hashimoto san, which is this girl he sits next to, right? Super cute, right? And, um. But then mistakes her. Like. Her liking Ida instead. Or no, not that. No, but he t h i n k he realized that she likes Ida instead, which is this guy, right? Because she wrote his name on the eraser. And then Ida mistakes Aoki for liking him because he accidentally dropped an eraser that has his name on it. <laughs> And oh, where is it? Like the, the faces. <laughs> the faces they're drawn is so funny. <laughs> like these. Yeah, man. Yeah. Ore Monogatari is also super good. Yeah. The, the one with the anime. Okay, alright. I'm gonna end. It's two hours of talking about BL, it's already two hours too much. So, Sika Yishi Hatsukoi, let's end it here. Oh my gosh! This is. Honestly, wait, no, this is probably better than Jujo Romantica. If you're gonna start with a BO, you should probably start with this one. Sekai, Sekaiichi Hatsukoi.、Um, it has an anime, so. <laughs> I have no idea when this is gonna end. But, um. I don't know, the last time I checked in, it looked like it was about to, about to end. Because at the very end of like, Onodora's chapters, there was like a countdown happening. It was like days until Onodora Ritsu finally falls in love, right? And I was like, wow, is it ending or something? I don't know. But last updated two years ago, I have no idea. Yeah. Yes, this one also has an anime. Yeah. Yeah, and obviously, you can tell by the art, but it's by the same person who wrote Junjo Romantica. But it's arguably better because, um. This is like. hard to explain if you don't know the story, but. These two, right? Met super long time ago. Um. And Onodora thought they were dating, but then. Uh, what's his name again? Ta- was it? Ta- Takano. But Takano was like, uh, what? We were dating? I had no idea. And then Onoda was like, what? You didn't like me at all? And then he runs away in tears. And then he meets him again at a shoujo manga editor's office. <laughs> yeah, and then, um. Obviously, there's- there are two other side couples that are okay. Like the. There's a manga artist and an editor, which is okay.、Um, the other one I really liked is.、Uh, who, it's an editor and then one of the sales people for, the, for their story. For, like a book, bookseller. Bookseller? Yeah. 
Uh, but, but, so, these two used to have a, like, a rival, uh, love triangle situation. Uh, this guy named Yokozawa, right, who, I think, no, Takano didn't date him, but they had, like, something going on, you know? Right, so Yokozawa obviously hates Monodora, right, but then after that resolve happens, Yokozawa gets... Like, he gets, like, another part- he- he gets paired up, basically. He gets his own- his own coupling, his own side story, and it's so good. <laughs> it's super good! They made a movie out of it! It's so good! Ah. Okay. Well, that's enough fangirling for today. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, private the stream. Well, actually, no. I'm gonna coin flip. If it's heads, I private it. If it's tails, I don't private the stream. Because I'm embarrassed. Damn it! <laughs> okay, I guess it's staying up then! <laughs> uh, alright. But yeah, it's late, okay. I'm gonna go to sleep. And you should also go to sleep. If it's late for you, I guess. I don't know. Thank you for listening to me talk about BL for literally two hours. Uh... I don't know what else to say, other than, um, if you end up reading any of the works I gushed about and liking it, um, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, and that, um, I promise that I'm a good person. Alright, good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh my god.